What's going on everyone? Austin John Place here and today we're going to be going over how to get four star photos of the other five legendary or mythical Pokemon in new Pokemon Snap. <laughs> In my previous video, I did cover Mew, Suicune, Deontay, Ho-Oh, and Shaman. Before I go into this any further, there are going to be very light spoilers about what's going on and the Pokemon in this video because one of them is related to the storyline. Let's have a quick chat about spoilers here for a second. All of this is just side content. They're side quests. They're convoluted ways to come across these Pokemon and these pictures that otherwise you would never ever take on your own. They're not story elements. I don't ever want to spoil story elements for you, and I never will, at least nowhere near release. So because of that, I'm not going to show you like the Illumina Pokemon that I had in a thumbnail, that's going to remain censored, but I have no problem showing these legendary Pokemon in the thumbnail because, well, they're not story elements. And with that fun little chat out of the way, let's get into this. The very first Pokemon that we're going to be going over is Lugia, who's going to be located in the Lentil Sea floor. This is a little bit of a convoluted strategy. I do recommend being level three, although I'm pretty sure this exact thing works on level two. But if it doesn't work on level two, then definitely on level three. Anyways, level two, this Clawwitzer, once you give him an illustrious orb, he's going to be able to open up this passage for you, and it remains open on level three. Fantastic. Let's go inside. And we are just going to skip until we're at the point that we're going down the long tunnel. When approaching the long tunnel, you're going to see that only one wall is going to have a small amount of light. You're going to go down the tunnel, focusing on the small light, and you're going to be seeing a lantern spawn at the bottom right of your vision if you're facing over here. Once you see a lantern, you can start throwing illustrious orbs at it. I have done this so many times, I knew exactly where we was going to be and where to throw the orb. Now you're going to turn around about 180 degrees. You're going to see these two jerkhead frillish over here. They're big jerk faces. All these fish are going to swim up and to the left and above the pink frillish, you're going to start wanting to throw illustrious orbs because what these two jerk faces are gonna do, they're gonna grab my lantern, homie. And I don't want them to grab my lantern, homie. I want him to break free. Yes, I do. And is he free? Nope, couple more orbs. You can hit either of the frillish or the lantern. It doesn't actually matter. Lantern is then going to swim down here, pull a 180. Be sure to get a picture of this happy lantern. I believe this is his three star pose and also required for a quest. He's then going to bounce over here to the right and that is going to be the new secret passage that you're going to open up. Fantastic, let's head inside. Upon approaching this rock over here, make sure you remain zoomed in because friendly reminder, when you're zoomed in, your cart is actually going to move slower and you're gonna start chucking illustrious orbs. Well, one, that's a picture of Lugia. Anytime that it's sleeping right here or slightly raising its head, that is a one star photo. But behind Lugia is a second crystal bloom. Make sure you hit that with some orbs as well. You don't need to interact with Lugia any further. And then he is going to swim away and we are just going to progress until we pass the Galicia Galisalopods. Once you reach the Galisalopods, you're going to be able to see Lugia start to spawn in very, very far away, and we are going to throw fruit at it. Not orbs, 100% not orbs. Do not throw illustrious orbs, only throw fruit at it. Make sure to also get a dope picture. If you did make contact, he would do a spin right there. If you did not make contact, he is just going to bounce. As I mentioned, when it's sleeping, that is a one star photo. Two star photos are generally while it's swimming through the water. This actually might be a much better photo than the one I had. I'm not really too sure. A three star photo can be while it is leaving its perch area. And we are going to replay this course for a four star. This is definitely one of the more frustrating courses to replay over since it does take a few minutes to actually get to the point that you're going to be able to encounter Lugia and there's a very good chance that you're going to miss your opportunity and there's stuff you need to do in the middle. Now just imagine me doing this for six hours yesterday trying to figure out how to do it. Fun stuff. By the way, shout out to Kingdom Killer on my Discord, a guy who just joined and was able to help me out with uh, this quest and several others in this video. So shout out to him. Thank you, my dude. We have Lugia appearing once again, and we're going to once again start throwing fruit, and hopefully we're going to make contact with him. I'm going to aim a little bit higher. If you did make contact, he's going to do that spin right there. That lets you know you did it properly. Next, Lugia is going to come over here, and he's just going to chill here. He's going to go a little bit more upright. 
is going to roar at you, and you want to get the top of that roar. That's going to be your four-star photo. Beautiful. This is different from a three-star roar or a two-star roar that can happen if you hit him with a luminous orbs. So make sure you hit him with fruit and not orbs. That's right, the protector of the ocean, you want to be a jerk to him. And with that, we have ourselves a one, two, three, and four star pose. Like I said, the top of that oceanic roar is going to be the photo that you want. In addition, that is going to be required for a quest. Oh, my previous photo was a little bit better. And there you go. That is going to be all four photos for Lugio. A one, two, three, and four star. The following Pokemon that we're going to be covering in this video do require you to have beaten the game. So after you beat the game and you see the credits and you've seen the final illustrious Pokemon, you're going to be able to do the following legendary slash mythical Pokemon. The first one that we're going to be going after is going to be in the Elsewhere Forest, and that is going to be Celebi. If you didn't know, there are several paths and several different stages in the Elsewhere Forest. However, we actually don't need to take any alternate routes. You do need to be in post game, and I don't know if specifically you need to be playing on level two, or if you need to make your way to level three in order for the Celebi event to happen properly. But you're going to want to continue straight from the beginning of the level. If you're on level three, you do not want to take the alternate routes. Make sure to feed Espeon a fluff fruit because that is a four star photo. It actually does not matter what season you make your way into. You just want to progress through the stage. Excuse me, Saucebuck, I'm recording here. I need you to not get in my way. Once you're in the third area, you do not need to illuminate any crystal blooms because we are going to be heading straight. We are not going to be taking the hidden alternate route. And upon entering the final default area, you're going to be seeing Celebi flying around. This area remains exactly the same before and after you beat the game. The only difference is Celebi becomes visible. When it's flying around like this, this is a one star photo. After it does a figure eight, it's going to come up the middle over here. There we go, and it's gonna hang out here. You wanna hit it with an illustrious orb. Be sure to take some photos because it is doing a time travel move right now and it bounces. Next, you're going to immediately look to the left and there's this giant tree here. Underneath the giant tree, you're going to see a small area of apples to the right. As Soon as we crest this hill, fantastic. Start throwing down a few apples. Celebi is going to appear out of nowhere over here. Hit it with an illustrious orb. I don't actually know if you have to hit it with an orb, but why not? Hit everything with an orb. Next, you're going to turn around immediately. Stare at this crystal bloom, throw a crystal orb at it. Look to the left on top of the ruins and Celebi is going to spawn in. Perfect. Hit it with an orb, because why not? Now, if you look all the way up to the top left, you're going to see other Celebes just coming out of nowhere, which is totally neat and stuff, right? Awesome. These three Celebi are going to join with Ruin Celebi. This is actually needed for a side quest. And now, anytime that all of them are flying together, that is a four-star photo. But if you look to the right at the course end, I highly recommend turning on burst mode for this. You're going to be able to get some pretty fantastic shots of all of them going as a full school, just like that. With that being all done, we have all four levels of Celebi. Like I said, level one is anytime it's flying around and just kind of chilling. Oh, that's a that's a dope photo. A two-star photo is when it's going to be surprised and when it's like looking around and stuff. A three-star photo is when it's sitting on the ruins and while it's eating an apple. If that was just slightly higher, that'd be literally perfect and beat out that cool blue one on the left. And the four-star photo is any time that they are flying as a, a pack, a school, a group. I don't know what multiple Celebi are called. And shout out to Joe Merrick. He was very excited when I told him how to do this and get pictures of a whole school of Celebi. Replay that to your heart's content and you can get yourself all four Celebi photos that you need to complete its page. Nice. For our next Pokemon that we're going to be going after, we're going to Oris and we're going to be going to the ruins to get ourselves Jirachi. Now, when it comes to Jirachi, you actually have four different photo sessions that you can do for four different opportunities of photos. and. They're all unique and they all need to be timed very differently. So as soon as you come into the course, as long as you're in post game, you're going to see Jirachi here. You can take photos of it right now and it's gonna be super happy. And then it's gonna do the whoosh. It did the whoosh, fantastic. Continue taking photos and we're done. Anytime that is just generally floating, that is a one star photo. Two star photos are gonna be while it's doing its happy wish maker pose. Three star photos are when it's gonna be doing the twirly whoosh. This is actually a really fantastic close up photo. Ooh, it even beat out my old one, perfect. 
Thanks tutorial video that I'm recording. For the other three photo sessions that you can have with Jirachi, you do not need to interact with that Jirachi at all. Instead, you could just hold down the turbo motor and make your way inside of the cave. Upon entering the cave, if you look at the purple shrine at the very top, you're going to see Jirachi on there. Now, this is a little weird mechanic and I can't really explain it too well, except you do not want to interact with Jirachi until after you pass this purple line right here. So this purple line, uh, this this water with the purple lights, the purple magical mystical lights, right? After you pass right here is when you can start throwing illustrious orbs. Now, remain zoomed in, throw the orbs. You're gonna have to hit him two to three times. It's gonna jump up, do a wishmaker move. That's probably not gonna be a great photo. And now it's gonna move kind of slow. Make sure you hit it at least two times with orbs while it's flying. If you did it right, it's going to continue to sparkle gold and it's gonna move very, very slowly. Then it's gonna come down here where this Edelgoss is and it's gonna hang out. From here, it's gonna move casually. You can hit it with illustrious orbs. You can play music for it. It's gonna do a whole variety of poses. In addition, you can feed it now. So we can get the boops. Pokemon will typically be tempted to go to the next fruit that you have. There we go, nice. That's a fairly close up shot, I'm happy with it. Play some music for it, watch it hang out. And all in all, these are gonna be some all right photos. Anytime Jirachi is just kinda hanging out, not really doing much of anything, that is a one star photo. I don't have a great one star. The two star photos are while it's going to be interested and currently consuming fruit. The three star photo is when it rises up from its little pillar to do the wishmaker thing. Now these photos, if you do it over and over and over again, you get your timing right and your apples right, you're going to be able to get Jirachi very, very close while it does its one and two star animations. But that's not going to be, in my opinion, the best photos. But the third photo shoot is going to be able to get you much closer, like this photo right here. The third photo shoot has one variation from what I previously discussed with you, is that we're going to need to illuminate all of these blooms in the same way that you did to, to complete the level. You're going to come through here and you're going to hit all six of them. In addition, you're able to hit Jirachi with one Illuminous Orb before the halfway mark. It is going to fly off very fast, but that's fine. Once we hit all six of the blooms, we're going to be calling Jirachi back over, so don't be worried about it. Now, Jirachi completely flew off to the side because we hit it before that purple line, and that's fine. If we look to the left, after completing all six of the crystal blooms, Jirachi is going to decide to show up again, which is totally cool. Now, here's the thing. This is going to be how you're going to be able to get, in my opinion, the best photo shoot. So what you want to do is just keep hitting Jirachi with the luminous orbs. And it's going to do a whole bunch of really fun poses. And when you approach Jirachi, it's going to start facing you as long as you keep hitting it with these orbs. Come on, buddy. There we go. Come on. Come on, face me. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do something other than just stare at me. Yep, there you go. That's that's adorable. Awesome. Perfect. Those zoomed in photos are generally going to get you the best possible three star photo that you can get. As well as some fantastic one star photos that might be like perfect placement on Jirachi. Perfect placement, great size, and that's going to replace the one that we just took outside. For the four star pose Jirachi, we're going to need to repeat the exact same steps that I just outlined, which are lighting up all six of the crystal blooms and waking up Jirachi. Feel free to wake up Jirachi before the halfway point because it can fly off for the four star photo. At the very end, number six. Perfect. So now that is going to call Jirachi back over from the left hand side. Fantastic. Now here is the thing. You're definitely going to want to remain zoomed in and just completely this entire time pummel it with illustrious orbs, right? As soon as you decide to play a song, which I think should be right now, you're going to notice that your cart slows down and Jirachi is going to go and it's going to do a few spins. Those spins are three star poses. If you happen to get one at a good position, I'm not too sure how, but it would be a really, really good shot. Also, turn on burst mode. 
Now Drachi is gonna come over to your right hand side, right next to your cart. Hit it with an orb. Play a song, and that's going to be the final Wishmaker pose, right before the course ends, making it one of the most difficult poses in the entire game. Shout out to V, Twitter handle Tricky and Witty for hitting me up on Twitter as soon as my previous video went live, helping me get this four star pose. So shout out to you, my dude. And if we head over here, four star pose, did I happen to get a better position than last time? I feel like I wasn't as close as last time. You really need to play with when you're going to play music that first time, which is going to cause Jirachi to do that lap. And then you need to play with when you're going to play music the second time, which is going to be when Jirachi is going to do the second lap. And then also you have to balance it between when the course ends. So it gets to be very difficult. I wish you the best of luck getting a good photo of it. Every time that you replay it, you could try to get a better Golurk picture because that's his four star pose. Oh, yep. Look at that. It was slightly better, but I was happy because we broke the 5000 mark. And that's going to be all four levels of Jirachi photos. I know this section was long. I'm sorry. <laughs> it should also be noted that there is a side quest involving Jirachi and having Jirachi fall asleep in a crystal or buy a crystal. I haven't even seen the crystal. I don't know how the crystal shows up. I have one through four star photos of this Jirachi without any sort of anything going on. So I don't even know what this quest is about. I'm sorry, y'all. For our next mythical Pokemon, this is going to be found at the reef during the evening. This is, of course, a post game course, so you can't even access it before the post game. And this is going to be for Manaphy. Not only is this going to be a picture of Manaphy, it's actually going to unlock an alternate route through the course. Soon as you spawn in, hit your turbo motor and hit Vaporeon with an illustrious orb. Take a photo of it. Look to the right at this crystal bloom and throw an illustrious orb at it. Fantastic. Next, soon as you approach this whirlpool over here, you want to focus at that crystal bloom and you want to light it up as soon as possible. You can light it up a little bit later for a better picture of the Vivaline that's going to be spawning here, because that's the ocean pattern and a really nice photo of it. I believe that's its three star pose. And Vaporeon's also going to spawn here. You want to feed it an apple. Why? Because it's a good boy. I think I should tell you now, you don't actually need to feed it an apple. That's not required in order to do this at all. I just think Vaporeon's a good boy and you should always feed it an apple. Great. If we look to the side, uh, this Whalemer is gonna, sorry, this Whale Lord is gonna go under the water for no explainable reason whatsoever. And as long as Whale Lord is under the water and this Vivalion's over here, your cart is gonna turn right. See? It just happens. And look, in the water, it's Manaphy, just chilling here. Sup, son? How you doing? Now you could also boop it, and you could feed it. Careful, because NK is gonna try to steal the food from it. Booping it is a two star. It eating is a three star. And if you hit it with an orb and play some music, you may get the pose of it hopping out of the water and that is a four star pose. Come on, buddy. There you go. Uh, time that a lot better for a much closer photo. Now doing this, you can get a one, two, three, and four star Manaphy picture as long as you time it up right. My previous photo of this exact pose, so much better and closer than what I just got here. But then again, I just did the same run over and over, trying to time the same one thing over and over, using the fluff fruit to get it a little bit closer to me. Now for Manaphy, there's additional pose that you can actually get from it, and it's actually required for the quest. As soon as you come into the course, you wanna do nothing. Do not interact with the Whale Lord. Do not open up the second route. All the things that we did at the beginning of the course the first time you're going to not want to do because that's going to cause the whale lord to remain exactly where it is and manaphy is not going to spawn in perfect while you're rerunning this course over and over you can actually uh have primarina play some music for you she needs to be slightly ahead of you there you go nice that's a four star photo 
And if we look to the right, we're going to want to take the alternate course that we've taken oh so many times while we've played through this beautiful game. And there are four Lapras over here. All four Lapras need to be hit with Illuminous Orbs. I do recommend zooming in as that makes your throws a little bit more accurate and your cart a little bit slower. We got that one, great. We got the baby, let's go for the mom and the uncle in the back. We got the mom, we got the uncle, perfect. Let's zoom up a little bit closer. And as you approach the Lapras, you're going to want to play some music and they're going to sing together. Manaphy is going to hop out of the water right in the middle. OMG, it just came out of nowhere. And it's going to ride around with the baby. You can't do too much. Uh, you can hit it with apples. You can boop it and that'll cause it to stop moving momentarily and allow you to get in front of it. And that's pretty much all you can do. Uh, but that hopping out of water pose, that's actually the one required for the quest. Oh, this Primarina picture. Like, if that was centered, that'd be magical. But, like, I just love the way that looks. That has some re real free willy vibe to it. Know what I mean? Anyways, this Manaphy picture. We could get one, two, and three star photos from this interaction. You can get really, really close if you time your apple throwing right, like I did over here. Okay, the two star is going to be when it is booped. And the three star is when it is hopping out of the water. Is that better than my last one? I'm not too sure. Its eyes are lifeless and I don't feel like it's looking anywhere and I feel like it's looking nowhere at the same time. Also, be careful of the Lapras because the Lapras can be actually the subject of this photo. Like, look how centered Manaphy was, but it read Lapras as being the subject. So, good luck with that. Yeah, we went from bronze to gold on that one, homie. Manaphy, size was one point better. So, somehow, all of it was so much worse. Okay, just replay that over and over and get your timings right for that special interaction. Now, the four legendary slash mythical Pokemon that I've covered, even the ones that are in the post game, these are still not spoilers. These are all side quests and extra things that you can do. Chances are you didn't know that they existed. You may have come across the Celebi and the Jirachi because they just spawn naturally in the courses, but the following Pokemon is directly related to the story. So if you consider the final Pokemon that you have to take pictures of to be a spoiler, then now would be a great time to either save this video for later or turn it off completely. But before you do, be sure to leave a like. I had to. I know, I know my, my reasoning for spoilers is super weird. But hey, is what it is. Anyways, let's go to the Ruins of Remembrance and the Illuminous Spot. You already know this Pokemon. You're in the post game. It's Xerneas. That's right, the legendary Pokemon from Pokemon X and Y, specifically X, is going to be the the final legendary Pokemon of this game, which is so weird. I guess because it's the Pokemon of life. This is actually the first time I've ever talked about this being the uh, the final boss of this game. Now, I recommend just coming in here and throwing orbs right at this one point. And more times than not, you'll be able to get Xerneas to pop out. Oh, it's back is facing me. What a great photo. I'm going to hit it with an orb. It's going to despawn top of the stairs. Nope. Sometimes it goes to the top of the stairs and just waits there. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't actually know the exact criteria that causes that to happen or not to happen. So, good luck. Anyways, once you approach up here, you're going to want to start to try to preemptively hit its orb because you're going to want as much time here as possible. Nope. Okay, now we're going to focus above this rock. I need to focus higher. Always higher. Great. We got it in time. It's over here. Start throwing orbs prematurely. Definitely make sure you get that second and third one hit. And great, now it's all glowy. You're gonna see these two hound dooms. You're gonna hit these with three apples each. You need to be really good on your timing for this and your aim. Because the aim is hard because you can't even see. Great, one is awake. Now it's time for, to wake the other one up. Double check and make sure that Xerneas is standing in the middle of the room. That means that you hit it with three orbs appropriately. It should do nothing right now except for look back and forth and stand there. Great, now you have to bring both hound doom to the exact middle of the room. Uh, you can hit it with apples when it's in the middle. After you throw your fifth or sixth apple, the other ones will despawn. Now you want to focus at Xerneas and you want to hit the scan button. And you want to do it a few times. These Hound Dooms are going to howl. 
They're gonna get into position. They're gonna do it again. Run a scan feature. It's gonna do geomancy. And beautiful. That is going to be your four star photo. It's, it's a little convoluted and you have a little bit of time to do a lot of things. Anyways, if we head to the right over here, there's going to be Xerneas just kind of chilling here. That's also a great photo. Um, you could do the zooms, the, the, the burst zoom trick that I taught you in my last video, which is turning on burst mode and then tapping the zoom button to get that half zoom, because that's too close and that's too far. So you want something in the middle, like... I know the footage looks horrible, but sometimes you get the right photo and then it stands up and we're done here and doing that we're able to get ourselves one two three and four star photos for the one star that's going to be apparently this picture of its butt and then when it's just standing which it typically does it typically just stands most of the time the two star is apparently some of the early frames of geomancy which is weird and then also when it's sitting very poised Doing that zoom trick, I was able to get this photo, which apparently is the best one of its whole body. The three star photo is going to be apparently also parts of Geomancy, and when it does that weird pose at the top of the stairs that I told you sometimes happens, I have no idea when. And the four star are going to be the key frames of the Geomancy move. I don't actually know what is the best frame for the pose. Before I went with the disco lights, right? So now let's go with this one because this one has all the white lights coming up. And uh, maybe it'll be better, maybe not. You can also probably guess, oh, that is a horrible picture of Houndoom. <laughs> and apparently a four star photo of not to, because it's sleeping. Apparently when the white is showing as opposed to the disco lights, that is a slightly better pose. Size was exactly the same. Direction was two points worse. Placement, other Pokemon, background. Yeah, now we're literally splitting hairs. This was 24 points better. But there you go. Rerun that, see all the variations, and that's going to be all four Xerneas pictures for you. Honestly, this isn't that bad of a level because it's the boss level and it's, you know, for a Luminous Pokemon, it's like super easy to fast forward through. There's no real requirements. It's, it's a great level to grind and get a really nice photo of this. Well, there you go, guys. After hours of research and help from uh, some fans and some friends, we were able to come up with the four star poses for Jirachi, Celebi, Xerneas, Lugia, and Manaphy, as well as a whole bunch of fun variations for you to take photos of and get your best photo for you to submit online. Or just be completely blown away by the people who are on the featured page for no reason whatsoever. And I don't think it's updated all weekend. So there's that, which is neat. Well, there you go, guys. That is just the beginning of all the four-star content for new Pokemon Snap from me, Austin John Plays. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to support the video, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about apples. Because that sort of a weird comment actually does good for the algorithm. Trust me. And also, feel free to subscribe as well. Great. Till next time, Austin John out.